Here's some stripy, stripy zebra things. There they are, wonderful. And the reason for stopping at them is not necessarily just because of them, but because of the view just behind them and the hills into which they're going to climb and possibly up to where we live. We have find them around our tents all the time, every night, and I think they climb up the hill in order to get away from the Amgama Pride, which seems to hunt them mercilessly during the course of the night. Then the last thing I'm going to show you, just before we're run over by somebody going to come past us, I hope, uh, no, probably won't make it past us, is the studio, actually. You can see the studio and the final control up there. There we are. That's the window that we look out of. And you can actually see a camera has been put up by J-Rod. Well done, J-Rod, today. Good job. And uh, the final control is to the right-hand side of that window that you can see there. And uh, they're not allowed windows. No, they mustn't have windows. They must be in their cave. And our camp, if we pan to the right, is just behind there. There you can see a tent. That's Graham's tent, actually, probably. Is it? No, it might be Louise's tent, actually. Or mine. It might actually be my tent. In fact, I think it is my tent. I think my tent is next to that bush. Hmm. Anyway, that's where I live, everyone. Yes, we'll put a flag on top of it, and then we can discover exactly whose tent it is. No, it's not mine. It's not far. Well, it might be. I can't tell. Anyway, that's where we live, and so we're going to head there now before the gates shut on us, and we have to spend the night in the rain out here. wasn't much of a sunset here and of course there was a wonderful sunset that you had at Juma and as the sun sets in Juma well hopefully Tinio will get off his backside and do something useful. Uh, from me and Fergus it's a good night and we'll see you well probably tomorrow.